Thanks for tuning in to our first video of the Latino Conservation Week video series. We hope this resource will help you with your Latino Conservation Week planning. I'm Jenny Brandt, the Deputy Director of Conservation Programs at Hispanic Access Foundation. And I'm Jessica Godinez, the Conservation Program Associate at Hispanic Access Foundation. Latino Conservation Week is an initiative of HAF and was created to support the Latino community getting into the outdoors and participating in activities to protect our natural resources. From hiking and camping to community roundtables and film screenings, the activities promote conservation efforts in their community and provide an opportunity for Latinos to show their support for permanently protecting our land, water, and air. Latino Conservation Week is taking place July 13th through the 21st this year. Partnerships are essential to creating successful Latino Conservation Week events. Um, to accomplish over 150 events last year, there were more than 200 organizations working in partnership to collaborate and conduct these events. We encourage you to use your local networks to partner with groups like schools, churches, nonprofits, and other groups in your area. We'd also like to invite you to reach out to us to connect you with HAF and local MANO interns at different public land sites to coordinate events. We also encourage the use of the CHEMIS principles for democratic organizing to promote equity, justice, and success for all when working in sustainable partnerships. Sustainable partnerships speak to principle number six, building just relationships amongst ourselves. One of the goals for Latino Conservation Week is for the week to be a stepping stone into building lifelong relationships with communities and partners to work together in outdoor recreation and stewardship. If you're interested in learning more about the HEMIS principles, please visit our website, latinoconservationweek.com. So far, we've had over 430 events demonstrating the Latino community's commitment to conservation with over 25,000 community members gaining access to outdoor recreation opportunities near their homes. Through Spanish and English media, we've made 20.5 million impressions around the week, and we've emphasized for local and national elected officials, Latinos' pivotal role as environmental stewards. Join us in building a movement to engage and celebrate Latino stewards of the natural world. So the next few slides will go into different components uh, needed to organize your event, starting with identifying your target audience and the number of people in your group. So this is asking yourself questions like, what community or group do you want to reach? And is the event open to the public? Next, you'll need to identify a location. Think about the activity level that your group can handle as this will affect that and think about what public lands resources are nearby. Is there a national park or a national forest? Are there any of these other resources that we've listed nearby? Once you have your location picked out, you can move on to planning your activities. Um, think about whether or not the park or your partners have educational resources that you can use here for your events. Um, think about whether or not you want to use rangers or guides. Um, and think about what kind of equipment you're gonna need for your event. Transportation can be a big barrier for getting Latinos out to parks. So we want you to be thoughtful and thinking through um, how you'll get folks to the site. Here are a couple suggestions. Uh, keep in mind that only about a third of Latinos are within walking distance of a park. Next, you wanna consider different food for your event. Um, will you be providing food or will you be asking participants to provide their own food? Can you get your food donated? If you are providing food, make sure to know any food allergies that the group may have prior to the day of your event. Finally, it's really important to think about safety when organizing your event. Things to consider are waivers and emergency contact information for participants, insurance for the event, photo and video waivers, and we definitely recommend having a first aid kit and emergency plan. If you're interested in using more resources for your event, um, our website, latinoconservationweek.com, has uh, many for you to choose from, including a planning toolkit, sample collateral materials, and the Latino Conservation Week logo that you can use on materials and social media. Thank you for 
for viewing our video and tune into the next video for more information on uploading your event to latinoconservationweek.com website and promoting it. Here are Jessica and my contact information. Please be in touch. Happy Latino Conservation Week.